in spite of searches from the air, land and sea, there has been no sighting of the shark since the fatal attack. Underwater traps and bait have been laid to try to lure it in. Simon Nellist, originally from the UK, had been in the ocean off Sydney's coast on Wednesday, training for a charity swim. Oh no! That's insane! People on nearby rocks could do nothing to help. I just, uh, some guy was swimming, the shark came and attacked him vertically. He, uh, we heard a yell and then turned around, the, like it looked like a car just landed in the water. Big splash. The 35-year-old, who was engaged to be married, suffered catastrophic injuries from the shark that's believed to be at least three metres long. The news hit us like a truck because he's really, you know, one of the people who make this earth better. Beaches around the area were temporarily closed with people told to stay out of the sea. Yeah, it was pretty traumatising uh, hearing about it, but, uh, yeah, look, you're just going, going for a quick dip and in and out and, yeah, it wasn't too much of an issue. But, yeah, still pretty, uh, pretty traumatising. Um, we just came for an early swim and so I walked down to the beach. They hadn't closed it yet, so I jumped in for a little bit. I was aware of the shark attack and they just jumped in for a bit, came out and then the lifeguards came up and closed the beach. The charity swim event that Simon was training for has been cancelled. He is the victim of the first fatal shark attack in this part of New South Wales for 60 years. Lee Stoud, Sky News.